Right, this is about properties of metals, and different metals have different properties. So, for instance, my gold ring is very shiny. My gold is also unreactive. Uh, some metals are malleable, which means that they bend easily. Some metals are strong. So, here is a list coming up of different properties of metals which you need to know about. Right, you need to know about four different metals and their properties. Number one is gold. Gold is used for making jewellery. It's used for making jewellery because it's unreactive. It does not corrode and also that it's shiny. Um, it's also used in some electronic devices because it's an excellent conductor of electricity but only use a small amount because it's very, very expensive. That's gold. Copper. Number two, copper is used in electrical wiring because it's an excellent conductor of electricity. It's also not very reactive and it's ductile so it can be stretched into wires. It's also used for making water pipes. Why? Because it's not poisonous and it's malleable. It can be bent into shape and that's copper. Aluminium is used to make aeroplane bodies. Why? Because it's strong but also it's got a low density, it's quite light, so the plane uses less fuel than if it had a body made of steel. Also, it doesn't corrode easily because it's got that protective layer of aluminium oxide, so that's a good thing too. One of the problems with aluminium is it's quite expensive though because it has to be extracted by electrolysis. The last metal you need to know about is iron and it's alloy steel. They're used to make things like bridges, girders, cars, machines. They're very, very strong, which is very good. Um, and they're also relatively cheap to extract because all we have to do is heat iron oxide with carbon. We don't need to use electrolysis. However, problems with iron and steel are they've got a high density, so you can't use them for plane bodies. And also iron and steel can corrode.